Today, me and the boys are climbing to the top of the mountain. Only problem is, is there's 10 inches of mud roads on the way through. So we got to go build out a cool setup to get the job done. And there he is, Alfred. What's up, man? Hey, what's up? How was the drive over? Oh, uh, not too bad. Not too bad. You ready to go? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So what's the plan today? Um, I'm not sure. I think we're just going to head up to the Red Wagon. You know, that big restaurant on the top of the mountain. Uh, the one over there? Yeah, 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 that one. Um, the only thing about it is, you know, the roads getting up there, they're kind of hard to climb. Well, yep, it is kind of mud road, so it might be a little tricky, but uh, let's build out a cool setup. Yep, yep, all right, what we're going to do is we each get a million dollars to spend, okay? What, a million dollars? Yeah, yeah, a million dollars, and you can buy whatever you want, but it's got to make it up to the mountain. If the winner that makes it up to the top of the mountain gets an additional $100,000, okay? Okay, okay, I like where this is going. All right, so that's the plan. We'll meet back here in 25 minutes, go build out a cool setup. All right, sounds good. Okay, first things first, we need a truck. We're going to do a truck, a trailer, and then we're also going to do a side-by-side. -side. And what that will be used for is in case the truck gets stuck, we can use the can -Am to continue our trip up the mountain and also maybe pull the truck out. So this is a Jeep Rubicon. Now, the cool thing about this is it comes with some pretty good tires. I think we can switch them up, but I think that's the best option that we can have. We're going to need as much traction as possible, and this looks like it'll get the job done. We're going to put a tuned V6 engine. Let's see, we could do a bunch of different configurations. A winch, so that would be useful too. In case we get stuck, we can attach it to a tree, wrap it around, and then winch up the mountain because it's going to get pretty tricky. You guys are surprised. The mud is very difficult to get through, so we're going to need it. We'll put a step there. There's weights you can add onto the front. I don't know what that would do. I feel like that would weigh it down just a little bit too much. We don't need that. We're already trailering. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to need a trailer hitch, and then let's pick out a cool color. I think we're going to do blue. Yeah, let's do an all-blue theme, and uh, Alfred's going to go all red. So it's kind of a little, little different of teams here, blue versus red team. So pretty sweet combo, and if you guys are excited for this video, drop a like down below. All right, here is what it's looking like so far. We can actually make the logo color different. You can see right there, there's actually some cool options. That uh, looks like a design going on. You can switch it up. We could do a red Rubicon logo. I honestly think we should just leave it like that, just the normal badging. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool. You could do the interior color. We could switch that. Let's just do black interior because the mud's probably going to get it dirty. So we'll do that. We're going to take the plate off the front. All right, $50,000. And remember, we have a million dollar budget, so I don't think we're going to come close to that because we can only drive one vehicle, a trailer, and another vehicle with the, on top of the trailer. So there's not much we can really do, but if Alfred buys a $300,000 truck, he's allowed to do that. Um, next thing up is we have some trailer options. I did see this one trailer right here called the PJ Load Trailer. Now, the thing about this, you can see the tires are upgraded. Check that out. Those are some like mud off-road tires. Those look sweet. We're going to add the extended rails onto it and then color match the setup there. And that was only four grand. Okay, we're definitely under budget. I wonder if we could like cheat with some sort of like pallets or something to help with weight distribution. There's a lot of things that we could do right here. You know, we could just put like a bunch of water. This is a 2000 liter. We might do that to uh, level out the weight there, but let's go find one more vehicle to customize out. Okay, it's going to be from here. There's a lot of off-road toys. Now, we've got a couple of different options. We've got an 18 Maverick, so probably 2018. 380 horsepower. It's aftermarket. Comes with speakers, so, you know, if we're just mudding, we get to have some good music. And look at the tires. Oh, my gosh. That definitely is going to get us up the mountain right there. Look at those, man. That's awesome. There's no winch package on this thing, but it does have beast mode. Beast mode kicks it up to 600 horsepower, or just under that 580. And let's customize this thing out. This is going to be so cool. There we go. We got the blue paint. Let's color match everything. And there we go. All right, let's purchase it. All right, here's the setup. We got the truck, the trailer. I don't see Alfred's stuff. He's still customizing stuff over there, but let's jump in the Jeep. We'll get it all hooked up here, and then we'll go ahead and back it up to the K&M, get that thing loaded up. But I think we're winning this thing. Everything that we've got in our fleet here looks like it's mud capable, including the trailer. Look at this close up here. Look at those tires, man. There's no way we're getting stuck with those. So let's fire this bad boy up. One thing is cool is we have these red antennas. So, you know, just let Alfred know that we're in front of them. We got the red antennas and we've got the speakers that light up red, the front headlights, and then the Can-Am Maverick logo. That's awesome. All right, here we go. Stop it right there. Strap it down. We don't have much more room. I didn't want to go with like a giant trailer either because if you think about it, the bigger the trailer, the more it's going to bottom out. So this is like the perfect everything. All right, let's get the ramps up and we're done. Let's just wait for Alfred to build out his setup and we'll be ready to roll out here. And look who's showing up. There he is, Alfred. Oh my gosh, he uh, outdid himself there. That's over a $100,000 pickup truck and he's got a tracked Can-Am. Oh my gosh. Yo, Alfred, man. We both kept it under budget, but remember, we're competing for $100,000 here. So whoever makes it up to the top, um, um, I don't think your truck's gonna make it, man, with these tires. What do you think? 
uh, they're definitely gonna make you check it out. I got the all terrains. All terrains. I mean, I mean, uh, check it out. I got the mud terrains. Look at this. These things have got a lot more traction. But hey, you might have this one in the bag. I might have this one. It'll be a fair fight to the top of the mountain. Let's head on over. It sounds good. Get on Radio 30. All right, Radio 30. Copy that. All right. Whoa, this is different. Driving a Jeep truck. I've never really drove these before. I usually drive the Ford pickups, but we needed something to get to the top. Hey, he closed the gate on me. What is this? He's already cheating. Oh, no. All right, here we go. We're flying out, boys. Yo, can you hear me on the radio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn it down. Jeez, I can hear you loud and clear, man. Uh, take a left and then head over to bridge because we're going across. That's where the mountain, uh, we're actually going to Wisconsin. So the, the mountain's not technically in Iowa. We're currently in UMRV right now, guys. So we got to head over the bridge of the Mississippi and then we'll be over there. So it's not too far. Alfred is running red lights, swerving through traffic. This is pretty crazy, but uh, we'll stay on him here. We got to both start at the same time for it to be fair. Um, so it's going to be kind of a battle. There's no pit maneuvering. There's no crazy stuff like that. There we go. I'm passing him up. Oh, no. This is fair, though. You can definitely pass up the other opponent. This might actually work out in our favor since we have a lighter truck. He's got a dually. That thing might get stuck more than you think, but not too far up here, Alfred. All right, copy that. And here we go. Should be up here on the right. My GPS says 0.2. Oh, yep. Yeah, it's right here, Alfred. Take a right. And we're going to start with the trailers too. Hey, break, break, break. Oh, my gosh. All right. Let's hit it, boys. Actually, hold on before we do. Raise up the suspension on the Jeep. We're going to need as much clearance as we can get. There we go. Look at this thing go, boys. All right, Alfred, uh, go. Here we are. Oh, my gosh. It's actually doing really well. This is insane. I thought it was going to be a little bit tougher of conditions, but our goal is to get to the Red Wagon Diner at the top of the mountain. I think we'll get there. That's what we'll finish off the day with a good dinner. Oh, Alfred's getting stuck back there. What happened? Yo, Alfred. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'll be uh, in front of you in no time. All right, keep that attitude, man. I'm still gaining here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yep. Yeah, maybe you might be right. I'm starting to lose some speed. Come on, Jeep. No, come on. All right, all right. There we go. We got it, we got it. I think the uh, the winner here is going to have the lightest load, and that's us because, you know, less weight makes it a little bit easier to get more traction on it. There we go. Hit it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're spinning out. No, we're rolling back, Alfred. I'm rolling back down the mountain. Hit your brakes. Yeah, yeah. I've got brakes. Oh, no. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Look, guys, I'm giving it all the speed I can, all the beans. We're not moving anywhere. Okay, hold on. I got my boots on. Let's go check it out. Where, where are we stuck at? I think the trailer's probably buried. Is that a floating deer? What? It's a reindeer. Oh, my gosh. All right, let's go check out Alfred, see where he's at. There he is. What's he doing? He's turning around. Alfred, you good, man? Yeah, yeah, I'm good, man. I just, uh, uh... Yeah, what's going on with the truck? I think your trailer... Oh, I think it's bottoming out here. Oh, oh, watch out, watch out. Oh, He's rock climbing now. All right, uh, just take a, a left, Alfred, and then he should get back on the trail here. There you go. There you go. He's got it. He's got it. He's a professional, I, I think. Back on the mud. That's cheating. That's cheating. You can't drive on the grass. Oh, my gosh. Uh, all right. Um, this is where he can go on the Can-Am, okay? We're officially leaving the trucks behind because my truck's buried, and then he's, his truck is basically gone. So we're going to launch the Can-Ams, and we're going to officially finish out the rest of this race. We have about another quarter mile. And that's how we're going to finish the race off. The winner will be decided based on the Can-Am race. And it should be a little bit more fair. He's got tracks, and I've got this thing. There he is. He made it up the hill. What happened to the truck, man? Um, we don't need to talk about it, okay? We have 100000 on the line. Okay, hold on. Stop here, stop here. We have to line it up, though, because this is going to be more fair than you think. So what I've got is we both have Can-Ams. These are both X3 guys, so it's going to be pretty fair when it comes to power. Now... The only difference is, is we do have different traction types. He's got tracks and I've got wheels and tires. And these things are pretty good. These are American forces with like the super grapple. I don't know. These are insane though. These tires are like the, what are they called? Uh, I don't know. They're cool though. Yeah. yeah. Anyhow, um, we're going to race the top of the mountain. Okay. hundred grand. First one to the Red Wagon Diner. All right. That's basically it. I've got a horn on mine. So I'm going to call it one, two, on three, go three, hit it. And we're off. Oh my gosh, we got the jump on him. I think the tires have more traction when it comes to taking off there. So we're making it up slowly but surely. I can see the final stretch. There's some sort of business up on the left here. I think it's the sawmill. There we go. Come on, hit it, boys. Look at the muds flying through. Oh no, this is crazy. Good thing I wore my work boots, but all right, there we go. The final stretch. The red wagon's up on the right. Oh, we're spinning out. We're spinning out. All right, back on the trails or else it's considered cheating. I see Alfred back there. He's not on the trails. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Oh, just cheating. What do you mean, cheating? Get on the trail. Come on. All right, there you go. Finish it out fair. All right, there we go. Red Wagon Grill. I thought it was a diner. We got scammed, all right? But we made it to the top. Let's see what we're going to get. Ooh, they got chicken tenders. 
Wait, what is that? Is that a steak? I think that's a steak. And they got fries. All right. Steak special Fridays and Saturdays. 17 bucks. All right. Alfred made it, but you lost 100 grand for cheating, okay? You cheated multiple times. Uh, whatever. I don't need 100 grand. Oh, it's like that. Okay, I see how it is. Well, I'll pay for dinner since I won, so, uh, yeah. We're gonna go enjoy a good dinner at Red Wagon Grill, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see us do more episodes like this, getting to the top of a business, a mountain, whatever, remember, hit the like button down below and subscribe if you guys haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.